the virtue of the final change as the Wild have the puck in the attacking zone. Glambo's shot from the point and he scores. 24 seconds in, just like that, it's 1-0 Wild. Well, Danny, we were talking before we went on air, and I said, don't be surprised that the Wenatchee Wild don't come out like a house on fire. Don't be surprised if they don't shoot them. And boy, didn't take a whole lot of shots, but a very good shot through a screen. A nice job by the Wild of getting bodies in front of this fine goaltender, Capriati, in net. And he had no chance on that play as it went through the screen and had eyes and found the back of the net. Here's the centering feed in front. Look out, bat out of the midair, and they score. Maybe not what the doctor had ordered on that play, but it was a fortuitous bounce. Cutting to the front of the net. Maybe a try for a cross seam pass, but Von Ungern, as we take a look at the replay here, the left-handed shot wanted to center it, but the sprawling defenseman may have hit him and actually did and he came back and great hand-eye coordination by Von Unger to tap it in. Fell down as he tried to hold up with it. Now a stretch pass, here's a breakaway. Andrew Rinaldi, he shoots, he scores! Well, Andrew Rinaldi gets in behind the wild defense. Nobody knew he was there. And just like that, Wellington has some life late here in the first period, it's 2-1 wild. Right hash marks, Jasper Weatherby moves in. He shoots, rebound, they score. Sam Hessler, Johnny on the spot. And the Wild with three seconds left in the period on a power play goal have regained their two goal lead, it's 3-1. You gotta feel for Capriati because he had an unwanted guest in his crease for the majority of that short power play. And you look back to most of this game and he's had a white jersey hanging out near his crease too. It's gonna to start charging rent pretty soon if they keep hanging around there. And boy, they did exactly what we talked about. It didn't take them long to do it either, did it? He's been fighting the puck though in this opening period, hasn't he? Able to get one set of legs off the ice. And here's Von Unger stealing, trying to spring Weatherby on a breakaway. Jasper Weatherby shoots, stopped, rebound again. Stopped again by the Dukes netminder off Cooper Zek. Now it's oh. Doug Loose, Weatherby feeds Zek, moves in, Zek shoots, he scores. I didn't think he got all the wood he wanted on that, but Cooper Zek beats Capriotti on the blocker side and the Wild have taken a commanding lead now, it's 4-1. Hessler lost his stick in the Wenatchee ice. Wild come out now, Josh Arnold, shot there by Glambo, scores. Tyler Richardson was caught deep in his crease. A quick release by Zach Galambos. And look out, this has become a laugher now. It's 6-1 wild. The Steinbach Pistons inside the final minute of play. Backhander by Drake Usher, he scores. You rarely mention his name and once again, one of the supporting cast become a star late. And that was a gorgeous backhand shot just drove around the defenseman had his head up the whole time and a nice finish for mr usher who like his musical counterpart says yeah yeah just one of those days for the dukes i feel for them couple of seconds to go as arnold has the puck in the wellington zone and that is going to do it in convincing fashion the wenatchee wild wins seven to one and clinch the hammer in the RBC Cup standings. They will get the choice of whether they want to play at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday or the 7 p.m. game. And if I had to guess, it'll likely be a 2 o'clock start.